Today, I thought I'd be helpful to walk you guys through what a day in the life of a rancher that has a full-time job, what it looks like. So let's jump in this Polaris, head to the barn, tackle a few projects. So stay tuned. The project we're working on right now is to put a scale uh, in the alleyway of our Angus shoots, so we can weigh the cows, um, know how much medicine to give them, but also more than that, when we take them to process them, make sure we know what the, the, the weight is before it goes to the butcher. So we put this on top of the scale, and to do it, John used this cool blade, aluminum cutting blade, or the skill saw. So um, another tip, I guess, he probably found on YouTube. But anyway, it says it's supposed to use, what is that? Pam. Some, some Pam. Just a lubricant. Just lubricant to lube up the metal so it'll cut. So that's just Pam, like cooking Pam. And just spray it on there, spray it on the blade. That's all she wrote. One pro tip he said is make sure this sucker's strapped down to some sort of table as you cut. Hey, other pro tip is wear some safety glasses and ear protection. It's pretty awesome. We're going to attach the floor that we just cut on the top of our frame here. As a good foundation. Next thing you're going to want to do is mount your load cells. So they come with these welding plates that have screw holes in them. Uh, here you can see the load cells already mounted. We welded those plates on and then used the bolts that came with it to attach it to our base. If you notice, you see really long wiring. That wiring needs to be run to the junction box. How you run your wiring from your load cells to the junction box and to the scale is up to you. What we did is we drilled holes in the frame, ran the wires from the load cells to the junction box, and then from the junction box to the digital scale. Little self-tapping screws to put the mat down. If you do any kind of work with metal and have to drill in or screw in um, metal consistently, do yourself a favor and buy these DeWalt carbon drill bits. It actually lasted this entire project plus some, um, they still seem really, really sharp. We decided to do some digging, as you can see in the time lapse, to kind of make this thing more level with the ground so the cows didn't have to step up or down to get on it. But it's way and true. John just stepped on it and it weighed about 184, which has been consistent all morning. So super excited to be able to weigh our beef before we get into the shoot here. So next, next thing is to get some cows in here. Really cool, really nice setup. Never thought we would have something like this. So kudos to uh, my main man for putting it all together. But essentially, here's your scale. Um, it's you know, running through this conduit to the load cells that, that program into this. Again, on Amazon, I want to say we paid 200 bucks, but it's been a few years since we bought it. So I'll, I'll put the link in the description. 
We're going to use it today uh, for the first time, so I'll let you know what we think. Just kind of a quick review on this this scale, uh, but also how we put this together, and hopefully it's helpful for you and your farm and ranch.